Hey everyone. Hi. Welcome back. <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah, We're using so. that. Hi everybody. Hello. I'm Neve. And I'm Danny. And welcome back to our channel. Today we are starting something new. <laughs> We're starting Percy Jackson. And what's the full title? Percy Jackson and the Olympians. And the Olympians. The Lightning Thief. So the first book. This is this is Neve's the, like she's been talking about it for a very long time yeah this is like one of my favorite book series of all time and i've been waiting on this adoption for like literal years <laughs> i have been following the process of this adoption since it was first like announced by the author of the books on his, i'm following his blog like i am so ready for this you have no idea <laughs> i haven't even seen the trailer danny knows nothing <laughs> danny hasn't even seen the old Percy Jackson no, movies. haven't seen the old. I, I was aware they existed, like, but yeah. I haven't haven't seen them. Haven't seen any of them. Haven't read the books. This is crazy. So vaguely aware of what they're they're based on in terms of the yeah. Greek mythology. So I think you should tell us literally everything you know or think you but might know. I think about I think Percy I already Jackson. have. Like I think so. It's based on Greek mythology. Okay. That's very loosely. It's not because it's all brought up to the modern day. Okay. Um, I think like. They're all kids. Okay. So they're all like sort of younger. They're not like adults, like right. being yeah. like heroes and gods. They're like kids or teenagers. Um, I'm assuming Percy Jackson is based on Perseus. Okay. But that could be just a wild stab in the dark. Mm -hmm. That's a, a pretty far stab. Yeah, uh, uh, just the Percy stab. thing. Yeah, you know? 100%. Um, that's it. I think I'm running out of, of things that I know about it because <laughs> I'm already speculating, let's be honest. This is so exciting for me because not only do I get to finally see a hopefully great adoption of a book series I love, but I actually get to see your reaction and your experience of this story for the first time. Overhyped myself, but I'm feeling pretty positive. I'm feeling <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The casting has come from the author, the you know, he's been a part of the writing, he's That's been on good. set while That's filming. Just it's gonna be it's gonna be a real sort of project from the for author the, really for the fans uh, and i'm also excited to see he said that like there may be some new scenes and content that weren't in the books that he's oh, written but he's or, written it and he's written it. Very yeah good, interesting. um and i'm also quite curious without spoiling anything about there was a, the very first teaser trailer that came out had a bit of an spoken excerpt from the books and i'm wondering if it's going to appear in this episode or if that was just a trailer thing um, I'm quite curious. I don't want to spoil it, but I'll tell you. I'll tell you if it happens. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Are yes. you ready to dive into Percy Jackson? I'm. I am ready as <gasps> I'll ever be. I just had one more thought. Actually, maybe I should tell you the title of the episode because I'm not sure yeah, whether yeah. or not it's going to come up. We can. We can do. We can do that. I think yeah. that can be a thing that we do. So. The episode titles have been released for a while because they are taken from chapter titles in the books. Okay. So this first episode is. Also, the title of the first chapter of the first Percy Jackson book, mm -hmm. and it is, I accidentally vaporized my pre-algebra teacher. <laughs> Just trying to make sure I got that right there. I accidentally vaporized my pre-algebra teacher. Listen, it, it, that's, that is that's an interesting premise, an interesting, so let's, yeah. let's go for that. Yeah, his let's chapter, have that. His chapter titles are really fun because they often hint to what's going to happen <laughs> in the chapter, and you're kind of like... How the hell is that going to happen? <laughs> or they can be like very misleading. So if that happens in this episode, it'll be like, hey, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah. the bit. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. It's happening. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm not even wearing blue. Is that a Or thing? orange. Should I have worn one of those colors? Mm, never thought of it. Maybe next week. Maybe okay. next week. Okay. I can't believe we have two episodes. Oh my God, I'm going to scream. Go. <laughs> Look. I didn't want to be a half blood. What's that, like the first line from the book or something? This is the first paragraph. If you think you might be one of us, my advice is turn away while you still can. Half blood as in children of the gods. Zeus was a fan of that, of, of impregnating um, humans. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. Fully dying. Oh my god. I'm 12 years old. Voice over. 12. Am I a troubled kid? Yeah. You could say that. Yeah. You could say that. I'm stuff that's maybe not so normal. 
That's me, back in second grade. Why was I up there? Oh, this is a great casting for the older actor. I could have sworn I saw something. What is it? What is that? What is... <gasps> it's a Pegasus. Pegasus. When you say you saw something like that, you wind up in this guy's office. It's all in my imagination. It happened again. <sighs> He's impossible. So he's seeing things that others can't, or? Look, must be. Mythical creatures, mainly. Then, something changed. Wow, this, Armored rhinoceros. Yeah, this casting is insane. Ah! What's his name? Grover. Grover. Sorry, I'm trying not to freak out, guys. And not just because we're both at the bottom of the food chain. You're bullying him. And you know what? It felt good to talk about these things with Grover and me. Weird, but <laughs> what was that? Did you recognize that creature? It looked like it. With we're, we're underwear. underwear. <laughs> Until one day, one of them decided to come for me. One of what? One of these creatures, I assume. Or one of the gods. Friends. The gods. The monsters. The heroes. You see here in this room are reminders of what we are capable of. Describe it. Not just nope. how it looks. Spidey sense. Oh, you cool. think so? <laughs> Either that or he's severely dyslexic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perseus. And Medusa. Mm -hmm. That's me. Mm -hmm. That's who you're named after. Ah. Not everyone who looks like a hero is a hero. And not everyone who looks like a monster is a monster. I named you after him because when he was a very little boy, he and his mother were placed in a wooden chest and cast out into the sea. His mother would whisper in his ear, Hold fast, Perseus. Against all odds, he managed to find his way to a happy ending. That's a nice Where's reason it? to name someone. Mom? Oh, I'm right here, sweetie. Mommy's so here. Are <laughs> he was dead dreaming. Mr. Jackson, you will learn to control yourself. Do you understand me? Me? Rude. Percy's special. This is Dodds. Mrs. Dodds, yes. When you're ready to hear what the gods have in store for you, they'll tell you. You'll be needing this. This guy is a god or something. He's like... You think so? He's pointing him in the right direction here. Dr. Like. Brunner. Dr. Who? Brunner. Brunner. Mm. He's just giving him a pen. Yeah, but... He said he very, might need it. That was very cryptic. He knows something, you he think? Knows, he knows that this guy is What different. is there to know? Yeah. What do you mean? He's a normal kid. Uh -huh. I was Talking thinking through. more like shoving Nancy in the nearest dumpster. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Would be effective. <laughs> Oops. Oh, Bully. oh, here he goes. Oh. oh. Hey. Oh. Magic powers. He noticed her though. He was like, yeah. I didn't even touch her. The pan. This is Dodd. You okay? It was only a matter of time before we found you. She's Medusa. You think? Well, no, she had. I thought it was <gasps> snakes growing over her snot. Where is it? Nobody else sees this. this the pen became a sword. It did. Which the very, very helpful doctor gave him because he knew he would need it. What the hell was she? Where's Mrs. Dodds? There's no Mrs. Dodds. There's no one here by that name. Well, that would be stressful. She did exist, but he's like, he's killed her. He's removed her from existence, but from so? the mythical world as well as the real world. The truth seems very hard to deny. Mr. Jackson, I didn't touch Nancy. <laughs> true. That is true. I didn't touch Nancy. <laughs> yes. I do. He sold a mic. Go on. And he isn't being truthful about what happened at the fountain. Grover. Excuse me. 
Not cool, Grover. He is cancelled. He's over. Done with him. Yes. Coward. I saw what happened at the museum. I didn't touch Nancy. I know you think you didn't. I'm trying to work out who Grover is. It's clearly more than he meets the eye. You think so? So he's sold out so cowardly. He's a. He's a body. Something not right, man. I've seen a lot of young people go through this sort of thing in my time. You are special. So much more so than you know. I don't need any more stories about how special I don't realize I am. What city is this based in? New York. New York. I thought it was New York. So that was the Met and... Yeah. Hey, I need plenty of food. Oh, here we, here we go. Oh dear. I'm not home. Welcome home, genius. Is my mom home from work? Oh, is that all you gotta say to me? Your principal called, said you got kicked out. They called mom's cell. You answer mom's cell? I answer whatever's ringing. My mom's boyfriend. He said I attacked a kid on a field trip. Okay. <laughs> all right. I have a job. What does it look like I'm doing right now? Losing at imaginary poker. You would think that because you're a child. Um, you <laughs> it's online poker. Every time! Wow. Wow. He's a very dislikable man. A very, very dislikable man. My eyes couldn't go any further up into my head, that whole scene. Why in the hell is his mother with him? Good question. She seems quite kind, doesn't she? Yeah, she seems a nice person. Is oh my god. Mom. And Livy Rodrigo! Oh is this the best day ever, or or what? But this time, it really wasn't my fault. Oh. Oh. He really gets Percy's character very well. I found Gabe on the phone with the headmaster. He told me what he thinks happened with Nancy Bobo Fit. I told him I believe my kid it was a real short call. That I had enough time to pick up your welcome home gift. What's that? <laughs> Or it's like blue candy. Right. It's a thing. He told me about Grover. Dose. Do you want to talk about it? Is there something else you want to talk about? Yes. I see imaginary things. <laughs> I killed a woman. <laughs> <laughs> a demon woman. With a pen. <laughs> With a pen. I'm scared. How anyone expects me to get any work done. Nancy and I are leaving for Montauk. I called to reserve the place as soon as I got off the phone with Yancey. Who's Yancey? His school. The school? I hate him so much. On my way home on Sunday, I'm going to stop at D'Angelo's and pick up sandwiches in time for tip-off. But if you make this miserable, I'm going to go anyway, and then I'm going to eat my sandwich and yours while I listen to the game on the radio. <laughs> in fairness, she does have the written the badger of this fella like. Absolutely. He's acting the big He's a lad. complete loser. Yeah, he's like, acting he's the big just lad, a... he's totally under the thumb there. Like. Oh, absolutely. I do feel like that's a... As I was concerned when we met She's him, handling it more like... than she definitely did in the book, right. I will say. But not much more, like, just... I feel like in the book, she's a bit more passive to it. Right. She's just kind of ignores yeah, it. Yeah, because I was, I was worried when we met him that he was going to be very dumb dominant control over her and, you yeah know, and i was like no, it dude. nearly feels like she just kind of lets him yeah she's just, she's like, just ah, like i don't care couldn't be bothered who are you so sad run away little hero well that's not creepy even i'm like who the hell's that yeah. hold up There's a notable absence of any mention of a father here, though. Mm. I wonder, is that... Interesting. Indicative of something else afoot? It's a valid thought. Um... I need to talk to you about something. I'm used to feeling weird. I'm used to the world feeling weird to me. I try to pay attention, and I really try, but... And I'm daydreaming at the museum. She knows something. 
You saw something. Yeah. You don't name your child after Perseus and he happens to be a Greek god. Felt real to you, but no one else could see. What did she say to you? She? How did you know it was a she? Oh. How did you know about that thing I we saw? We come to this place every year because this is the place I met your father. Who's that? Zeus. My dad. What if my dad had I met a man here on the beach. He was wise and brave and kind. I knew that that I had never met a man like him before. And then it's hard for her to talk yeah, about. He was because he, he wasn't a man at all. He was a god. You fell in love with God? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like Jesus? <laughs> the stories that I have told you about Greek gods and heroes and monsters, they are real. Mom, in those stories, oh, you must think she's losing it. Sometimes have Mom, children together, stop. children Mom. called demigods, and sometimes they are known as half bloods. That's what the monster called me. And half bloods? are not safe in the world. Mm -hmm. Once they reach a certain age and they begin to understand what they are, terrible forces are drawn to them. It has always been a part of who you are. It was always coming. This is crazy, okay? I'm not a god. There is something wrong with my brain. Demigod. Yeah. Demigod. You're a demigod. But I'm afraid something may be really broken now. And, and now you're telling me stories like it's gonna make it okay. And I know for certain that there is no such thing as demigods. Who's there? Oh, oh. Ms. Jackson, it's Grover. Grover? This is a little time sensitive. Great, I'm early, but I didn't have any choice. Things have changed. This is all developing a lot faster than we anticipated. Oh, he knows stuff. You should have asked me before you, whatever it is you're gonna say, I don't wanna hear it. Grover? Percy? Grover. I'm not What's here. wrong with his legs? Grover. So Grover! What? Grover, why is there half a goat in your pants? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you know what that could be? What's that? I'm a satyr. Satyr. And I'm your protector. You're my protector? If I hadn't gotten you kicked out of school, you'd have never survived the night. I would chasing us now would have found you there easily. Well, none of us saw Dodds coming. So you knew. I saw some of it. The mist kept her hidden even from us until it was too late. The, mist. the veil that hides the magical world from the human world. Right. My legs, Dodds' wings. But it isn't supposed to hide things from me. That never happens. Something powerful is at work here. The sooner we get you to camp, the better off you're. Camp. You told him about camp, right? Not yet. No. It's like God camp. It's a sanctuary for half-bloods. A safe space where you can learn who you are and what the world is like on the other side of the mist. Is that the Minotaur? <laughs> he, he is brutal. He is relentless. He's wearing underpants. Boys? Yeah, I'm actually 24. Hold on, please. <laughs> Grover's 24. Cedars age differently. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh wow. Why is the Minotaur chasing them? So, um, they said before, like, due to him being a half blood, just mythical monsters are just attracted to him. They, they just want, want to kill him. To There's no like him. rationale. It's they just, just want to kill right. him. It's like They're instinct. drawn to them. Yeah. And the older you get, the stronger that pull becomes, so it's time to go until, to until go you to this camp to be the protected. Age that you can fight back, is what they said. Yeah. If you make it that far, mm. not many do. Right. We're here. Okay. We're here. The tree. Look at that tree. I I know that tree. Percy will be. But will all of us be safe? No, he has to go himself. Grover, I am entrusting you to protect my son. What's happening? Swear it, Grover. 
Keep him safe from anyone or anything that comes for him. Do you understand me? I swear. That has some more significance than just his word there. Mm -hmm. So Grover can go past the boundary. I, I, yeah. Yeah. But she can. I gotta go now. She's human, you see. What do you mean, go? I can't go with you. Why can't you? She's human. Remember what I taught you. Remember the stories I told you, especially the stories they will no, tell you. No and way. Mom, I'm not leaving you. Perseus. Perseus. You are not broken. You are singular. You're a miracle. And you are my son. Hold fast. Hello. Raise the storm. <sighs> this minotaur better not hurt his mommy. So if he smells you in two directions at once, maybe I can confuse him, buy us both a little time to get away. Mom, please, don't. She's so brave. Why is she doing this? Don't do this. Oh, God. Don't you hurt her. Oh my gosh, she's so brave. <laughs> the red, like a bull. Hmm. <laughs> what the hell happened? dead because the minotaur faded away too but i was like she didn't look like she died but then that faded away too yeah i didn't i didn't believe it and a bit i still I'll let, I'll let it he's waking everyone give them some space please oh this is the doctor welcome to camp <laughs> he's a Jackson. centaur we've been expecting you I did cry. <laughs> did you? Yeah. So does that tell me that the mother is actually dead? I mean, look. Leaves glitching. I can't confirm or deny. I can't <laughs> confirm or deny. No, you can't. I don't want you to. I don't want to. Like, that was meant to be a moment of, it looks like she is dead. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. were right to say it. That, and you were right to be like, wait, but is she? Because that's also probably yeah, just, what it was just will be addressed next is Percy going. It was just the way she like faded. Yeah. Like, 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 into ashes. Right, let's take ourselves through the story like we did last time, I yeah. think. So, um, we, we, okay. We started with this sort of background where he's yes. a little boy who had visions of mythical creatures. Yes. Percy grew up in New York, and obviously, throughout his life, he's been seeing things here and there. Mm -hmm. um, but yep. it was implied by his mom when she was telling him that as you get older, that's going to get more frequent. And once you understand, who you are but but that was sort of clarified later on by the little goat person the goat person uh, who, who i thought was an absolute cowardly traitor <laughs> that was ready to like be over him okay so the way obviously you can see now that grover knew more than he, he, he did on, he did yeah i will say like 
I think that was a situation of him. He had to pretend he didn't know because you need to remember the less Percy knows about what's going on, the less attractive the monsters are to them. Oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah. So okay. he had to also play along with this idea of that didn't happen. Mm-hmm. And that's so he, was, he was trying to gaslight him the way that everybody else yes, was. Yes, right, right, right. but not, not in a sense of because he hates him because mm-hmm. he was trying to protect him. Just, yeah, because it makes him less, less vulnerable. So Grover, there's a reason why Grover has is was with Percy mm-hmm. um, and I'm sure that'll be dived into more in the next episode <laughs> but um, yeah so then we were at the university and we were looking at Greek the Met yes statues okay. and the, the the bully was mean yes, to him yes Nancy Boba Fett and then the mean teacher was mean to him Mrs Dodds and then the nice teacher came over to him and gave him a pen he did and because the pen is mightier than the sword Mm-hmm. But you think well, in this that... case the pen is a sword. <laughs> it seems to be, and we saw it twice. And I do yeah. know its name, but I will not be sharing that right now. No. But it was very exciting to get to finally see it in real life, and the fact that it was a ballpoint. Like, if you're a Percy Jackson fan, like you'll get that. Like the fact that it's actually just a like normal looking cheap ass ballpoint pen. Yeah. Is iconic, <laughs> and the fat guys with the the lid. You get me. You get me. Uncapped like. Oh, Amazing. In the book, it's you uncap the pen. Okay. In the movie adaption, he clicked it. Okay. Which is quite cool. Mm-hmm. But this was more what it actually yeah, yeah. is meant to be. It's okay. just like very fun. Yes, and then we had obviously the situation with Mrs. Dodge. She turned into some kind of demon. Yeah, because he pushed he pushed the girl into the fountain, and then then she turned mm. into a demon or something. Yeah. Special. What do you think happened there with? So you think that he has like actual magical powers? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, and that was just... pretty clear. He didn't. He didn't touch her. Mm. He, so you, he got so up what is angry your, with her. What does that like? Does that make you think then that do all demigods have powers? It it probably suggests that, but the fact that he was able to best the Minotaur at the end, you think when so? all, all, you uh, it was indicated that most demigods are like, you know, like that that like like those you know, the 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 turtles running across the beach to get away from the snakes. <laughs> you know <laughs> so you think that like that tells you that he's like whereas this turtle special. turned around and stood up and killed a snake you know <laughs> so it suggests that he's maybe got something more again back to the interesting you know, and do you he's, think he's not just the, the, the son of a god maybe that's the son of Zeus maybe that's the son so is that so is your, would your thinking maybe at this stage be like that a son of a god mm. like a more prominent god a like, a, like god. a big the kind of main yeah, gods the, the top, is more like, powerful, he's maybe. Higher, he's from a higher shelf of a god. Yeah. Than, than okay, I like that. Demigod. And you seem to be pretty sure that you have figured out who his father is. Well, just because he's Perseus. But I can't obviously comment. But I love that you. I love that you're speculating. Obviously, I cannot <laughs> react whatsoever. Just because of the Perseus thing. That's yeah, the only reason. It's absolutely fur thing. And you know, at the end of the day, these are kids' books. Mm-hmm. Some things are going to be pretty easy to figure out. Yeah. Some things. Still might catch you. Oh, I'm sure they will. You think you think you can figure this out? Maybe you can't. I definitely can't. <laughs> <laughs> Not this guy. <laughs> so then obviously um his mom took him to Montauk away from yeah. Gabe. Gabe, is that what you call the dose? Gabe Ugliano. Ugliano. Mm-hmm. The subtly named. The yeah. <laughs> Not at all accurately named Gabe. <laughs> yeah. Who we despise. Yes. Um and took him to Montauk, which it's really cool. This is so book accurate. Like yeah. every little thing that happened. And all of this happens in like very few chapters, which yeah. is insane. They put a lot of focus into giving Percy a good backstory mm-hmm. and I really appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Um, And she told him the story. She met her, his father. His father who she still didn't name. Yes. To allow for some... Speculation. Who is this? Who, who could this, this be? Who is the parentage? And then Grover shows up. And then Grover shows up. Clearly early. the mom knows Grover. Yes, and, and he's speaking very plainly. And he's got a goat in his pants. No, no, he, he's, he's got goat legs. <laughs> yeah, but Percy says, why is there a goat? Per, 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 Percy's still freaking out about it. He goes, why is there a goat in your pants? <laughs> so funny. And what do you call this creature? A satyr. So you were Cedar. saying like Narnia? Yeah, all I could think of was a fawn from Narnia. A fawn is just the Roman version. Yeah, okay. It's the exact same yeah. creature. <laughs> There's a Roman name for it, and just like there is for all the gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah Same yeah. in mythology. So fawn, yeah, cedar, same thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Grover, obviously, he said he was 24. Cedars do age differently. Mm-hmm. Like, as in, they mature they're differently. No so he, spell. yeah, so like being 24, he still has the mentality of what he, how he looks to us. He still has the mentality of Percy. So he's like, still actually mentally like, a child. 
Yeah, okay. genuinely. But also, like, not. It's, like, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm sure some, they'll go anywhere. He's got some life experience there, but he's, like, a... Mm-hmm. But they just... Old. They mature slower. Yeah. So, at the same time... Yeah. But then he, they're obviously afforded a lot more responsibility at that age. Yeah. <laughs> because he's, like, just, like, out there in the world on his own. Like, where's your mom? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know so what maybe I mean? The, maybe, maybe, so, maybe so there's, there's a bit there's more? Some, there's some like give just, in this situation. It's just, like, it's something humans yeah. couldn't comprehend, I guess. Um, so then uh, they go out and they start driving very frantically towards some mystical camp that mm-hmm. nobody's ever heard of before and um, get attacked by the minor tour on the road insane crash the car pretty iconic Greek uh, monster as well oh uh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. To, good one to showcase in the origin episode mm-hmm. in the first episode you know uh, absolutely and then yeah she, she, she heroically gave her life to allow to allow Percy and 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 the and Grover and Grover to escape, mm-hmm. but um not before making Grover swear so, very intensely yes to to protect mm-hmm. Percy. So that seems like there's something serious going on there. Yeah, and the, I love the the way she spoke to Percy. It definitely hit me different because I knew what was about to go down. Um, kind of the hold fast. Mm-hmm. But I don't think that's from the book or anything. It was really beautiful. Oh, really? I loved that. I, I assume that was straight from the book. No, I don't I think so. I, I could be wrong, but I don't specifically remember that line. And it was mentioned, it was twice in the yeah. episode, and I thought it was beautiful. I, I assume because it was a couple of times. She was, was like, this great. must be like a thing in the books, this whole yeah. fast thing. Yeah, she was great. And Percy and um, his mum's relationship in that opening section of the book, I think, is so important. And I think they did a great job. Mm. Really good job. And Walker, Scobell, Percy could not be more perfect. Could not be more perfect. Percy, right, tell me if you think this actor summed this up. Percy is kind, heartbreaking, and so snarky and cheeky. And I just think Walker hit every note there. Like, it just, it was so well done. I agree to that, yeah. Yeah. He was very good. He was just so great. And as soon, and Percy is so funny, and hopefully we're going to get to see a bit more of his humour um, throughout the show. We didn't, we got a little taste of him, not much. But um, yeah, I'm, he's I've, a great comedy actor, that little boy. I oh suppose, my gosh. I suppose what I'm sort of now in my head, like, where does it go next? Mm. Like, because is he just now going to be residing in this camp fairly permanently? Mm-hmm. In which case, all that set up with, like, the school and... The, the bully and all those sorts of things are kind of irrelevant now mm. or is it like is all that going to have more to it than it seemed initially and they're going to go well, back to the real world and in terms of where the story may go there may be one thing I could point you back to mm-hmm. in the episode that you may have overlooked um, Mrs. Dodds mm-hmm. which was attacking him she was saying something yeah I didn't I, I, I was uh, yeah yeah she said um, where is it well, yes, she did. She kept repeating, where is it where half-blood? Where is it half-blood? So I would right. say that's your only real indication where is, of where, where things is might go. What? Where is what? Where is what? Where is what? Camp? But clearly they know where the camp is because the Minotaur was there. Mm. Do all the monsters have a group chat? Do they all, <laughs> Do they you, all know? You can only assume so. But, <laughs> but again, the, the Mrs. Her name, Mrs. Mrs. Dawes. Mrs. Demon. Mrs. It's Dodds. hard for me to keep not saying because I do know the real name yeah. of that monster. The, I yeah. need to be careful well, here. Well, so Mrs. Dodds, Mrs. Demon, she seemed a higher level of monster than the Minotaur. You think so? Well, and, like yeah, she, she seemed to have like a brain, like oh. <laughs> a, you know, she could think and she could, yeah, like you know, oh, more humanoid, humanoid. I know, obviously, the Mi- the Minotaur is somewhat quite humanoid. A, quite a is a half human, man, is a, half is a bull. Humanoid, is a humanoid yeah. monster. But it's the, the, the brain of a bull by the looks of it in this one. Uh, you think so? It was just like, kill, Very kill. easily sucked into yeah, the distraction 100%. by the mother and then yeah. just, just mm. charging aimlessly mm. at everybody. But the, I mean, the thing with the Minotaur is that it's extremely strong. Yeah. And that's why it is so famous and so hard to defeat normally. Yeah. So it's pretty impressive. Whether or not like this is makes him special amongst other demigods, does. half-bloods, whatever which you want to call Which it clearly does. Which it clearly does. <laughs> which it clearly um, does. It's still a big achievement for a 12 year old kid mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. um but yeah. nothing to our person he's, so there's something else special. what else could i point out we did notice there was the the, the thing with the, where the font was moving on the page yeah that was never that explained. hasn't been come back around and what was something else maybe he was just dyslexic we will find out 
We will or find maybe, out. Or maybe, what was the other one I said? The, the spider sense. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, okay. I'm trying to think if I have any other questions for you, like as in, but I, I feel like we've covered everything. Did you enjoy it? Oh, yeah. It was fun? Yeah, yeah. No, that was very good. Yeah? Like, I'm, I'm looking forward to just sticking the next one on, to be honest. <laughs> so we've kind of established a few of the really, the mean characters in the book now. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm very excited to meet the third one. You guys know who I mean. I'm so excited. My favorite character hopefully is coming up next episode. I'm very excited. Okay. Right. See we're starting next the next one right now. <laughs> I can't wait. We're starting it. We will now. be in the same clothes next time. We will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. This was so much fun. And we can't wait to watch this. Yes. We want to watch it. Really, we want to really watch quickly, it, so, so we have to go. But thank you so much. We appreciate everyone watching mm -hmm. and um just drop a like below or a comment. Yes. If you enjoyed this, I'm sure your experience with Chris Jackson. Obviously, be careful. Yes, like, subscribe. Let's all let's go to the next episode. No spoilers for Danny, everyone. Yes, no, no spoilers, spoilers for Danny. No spoilers, no spoilers, no spoilers, no spoilers for Danny. Spoilers alert. I managed to keep you off the comments on this one. Okay, bye.